of my next LP made by Taito. It's Panic Restaurant. Now you may be thinking why was I wanting to play LP this game? Well, I wasn't really thinking, I just decided let's play this game. So anyway, we have our main character here, Cookie, Cookie, whatever, and he is a chef. And he gets hit by fruit. Yeah. And the main villain here is this guy here with the umbrella. I am Odo, if I have taken you to a nice little restaurant. Ah, ah, ah. He's not a very nice person. He stole a restaurant named Eaton. The world famous restaurant that is famous for whatever. And yes, that was a giant turkey chasing after him. Stage one appetizer. We gotta get inside Eaton, the restaurant. So, yeah. The enemies in this game are giant evil food things. So yeah, they're not very friendly people and you gotta make sure you kill them. You only have two hit points until you until you get some sort of lollipop item which increases your health. And you can have up to four health max and that right there is a spoon. And this teaches you one thing about this game and that is that your frying pan item that you start with is not a very good item and you're always going to want to have any sort of item possible. The spoon is a really good item and you won't want to lose that. And this game is somewhat moderately difficult so I may be using save states through certain places just so I won't accidentally lose all my lives and then you'll have to see me go through all this again. And that's the boss right there while I was talking about that and he died awfully quick because he wasn't that hard of a boss. So yeah. And now we go to the bonus stage. Which is a slot machine. How obvious. You play slots for bonus and points and stuff. It's all good fun, but I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to see that, so let's speed it up. So you get points in this one bonus round because if you don't then oh, stage two soup. Because if you don't spend all your coins, it's, you're just going to lose all your coins anyway, so you might as well just use them all during your bonus stage. It's kind of like Super Mario Bros. 2, in a way. So yeah, there's not really any soup in the soup level, which is kind of weird. In fact, most of the levels don't really have any enemies of their name, which I find very odd. So yeah. And there's an elevator. Uh, yeah. Oh, we died. Oh no, that's... Well, he died. That must suck for him. Oh well. Oh yeah, another thing about this game. If you lose an item, and you die, and you try to get it again, it does not come back. So, this game isn't very nice to you. And also, if you leave the screen and come back, then your item w wait then the enemies will be there so this game respawns enemies but doesn't respawn items which really sucks but yeah so anyway now he has a killer onion he, he hit him twice he doesn't really do much and those are apples they explode and they're very hard to dodge for some very weird reason, and yes, I just did use the safe state. I will use safe states whenever I enter a door. And we want this item right here. It gives us another energy, as you can see right there. And now we have three health, which is going to be very helpful. So yeah. Go up this elevator. Oh, don't want to fall, that would suck. You know, it's kind of weird how there's tables stacked on each other, I mean... What kind of restaurant would have tables that are stacked on top of each other? I mean, that would be kind of weird if you went into a restaurant and there was a table on another table. And now there's the electric chandeliers. They're not very nice, and they're not very fun to deal with, so... Just... Avoid the lightning that comes down. And since when chandeliers became electrical, lots of danger are beyond me. But at the same time, so it's also been a mystery to how 
all these food items have become evil. Oop, didn't want that to happen. I want to get these coins, though they're not really going to do us much. And that up there is the saucepan item. You get it and you will be invincible for a short time as you have a pot on your head and you spin around. Yeah. This game is pretty Japanese in my opinion. I mean, they have all these little crazy, quirky little things that they do. But yeah, that's not another. That's a little charm about this game. Is its little happy quirkiness. So anyway, this is the fork item. It's kind of a little hard to use because it's kind of dangerous to use because it's like a pogo stick, and if sometimes if you jump on it, it doesn't want to respawn well. So yeah, so we it's better to have the spoon. And we died. You didn't. Ha that didn't happen. You weren't seeing. Eh. You didn't see anything. So, I believe up there is candy, and we want that. So we're gonna go get that real quick. Ah, ah, take that. Stupid pizza. Though pizza is delicious. Yep. And there's candy, and the boss is right here, I believe. And it's a microwave. In my opinion, it's the other than the popcorn machine. It's the easiest boss. See? Already dead. Now stand right here and he'll just flood out all his coins to you. As you can see there. And we beat this level. And now it's time for the bonus stage. Yay! For bonus stages. Though we won't probably get anything. Whoops! Didn't mean to do that. Stage 3 Salad. Which we will cover in the next video. So until next time, I'm Cinnamon and I will see you guys later.